welcome back to the channel. So I'm just getting stared out by some sheep. Um, I'm back in the Lake District. It was supposed to be the Isle of Skye. I couldn't quite make it. Um, my van's kind of having problems. I've broken a rib. Loads of other excuses. But I'm here. I'm at the Lake District. I've got two or three days just to explore. I've got a rucksack full of maps. I'm going to head over to uh, Glaramara. Glaramara, I think. And try and pitch somewhere up there tonight. Weather's meant to be okay. It's meant to be low winds. I'm hoping to get a clear sky. Stick with me, see what happens. I don't. Hopefully you will. Um, see if it's a success or an epic fail. I don't know if you can see that but I'm a little off course but the reason being is down there it's just a total bog so I've come up here a little bit higher it looks like people have been uh, walking this way anyway but uh, it's just getting to a huge wall um, I've never been this way before I'm hoping the path shows itself so but uh, I really don't want to go down there that is just a bog I've just seen a sheep wearing wellies About uh, four o'clock, I'm taking my time, I'm just relaxing. Um, the sun's come out, kind of. It keeps coming out and then hiding behind a cloud, but it's it's really nice. Um, and I'm spoiled for choices for pictures. Um, I'm not at the summit yet, so I am gonna, I wanna keep going up to the summit, uh, but then I might backtrack, come back down here, because there's loads of pictures down here. Loads of places to camp, so. Another 40 minutes, maybe. I'll give myself an hour. A nice, relaxed hour. And uh, I should be at the summit. Get me to about five o'clock, and then decide whether I'm pitching up there or coming back over. Be uh, quicker to get back down. I'm so close, but so far away. It's, uh, it's bog central now. And because I broke my rib, I can walk, okay, I can even carry weight, but jumping, jumping over these with weight is absolute agony. I think I'm going to drop down to them tans over there. I'm hoping it's not too boggy, but even if it is, there's loads of other spaces to uh, camp. 
camp. I should get a good view for the sunset, hopefully. favorite parts of camping while camping is dropping my rucksack and then just scouting on the area looking for the uh, perfect pitch which i never seem to find the perfect one but i, I sometimes find one pretty close there seems to be a lot of potential here so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to find a pitch don't really want it as much as that's beautiful i don't really want it to be that side i'd like to be looking out that way so i can see the sunset um but it all depends. I'm going to have a run around, have a look about, get the tent out, and then I'll get back to you because it's, it's getting on. It's after seven now already, so... Um, yeah. I'll find a pitch, get my tent up, and I'll come back. Pitch the tent. I've got uh, Derek the drone out, did a bit of drone footage, that hopefully you'll see. Um, and I'm in a sweet spot, a really, 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 really nice place. Uh, I'm hoping the wind stays off. Uh, it's, it's absolutely perfect up here. I've even got myself a little seat, perfect level, to have a, a few whiskies. So I'm gonna have my dinner, get in my uh, chill out gear, something a little more comfortable and uh, listen to some music, watch the sun go down and just zone out. So I might speak later, I might not, but uh, I'm in my happy place. chill out gear I mean it looks the same to you but underneath is is like thermals and, and stuff frilly underwear 
you know. Um, I've got my essentials, I've got my music ready to go, to go with the sunset. I have my personal locator beacon in case I go missing, snap my legs, get stuck in sinking sand or whatever. I mean, there might be sinking sand here. It's certainly muddy. I have my whiskey. Travel light. I haven't brought beers. Whiskey tonight. <sighs> so, that's me. I will see you in the morning. morning I get uh, had a good night's kip um super still no wind perfect pitch really um where was I I'm gonna get up I'm not gonna have breakfast I never really do have breakfast I'm, I'm a bit strange like that I'll uh I'll pack up and I'll make a decision because I don't know whether I'm gonna go that way on the circular route I was talking about, which is about another seven mile, I think, six or seven mile, or head back the way I came, back down the van to survive another day, because I'm, I'm in the lakes for a couple of days, and my ribs in bits, and I don't know whether going that way is going to be more of scrambles, um, or it's going to be boggy. <sighs> I'm not sure. So I'll, uh, I'll pack up, I'll check my maps, and I'll make a decision, and I'll get back to you. <sighs> I must say, these are epic. One of the best buys I've bought. I've really set that up in an awkward position, haven't I? Anyway, highly, highly, highly recommend these. The stupid money, like most of the walking gear. Oh, wait, hang on. See, or something that was free of my good lady. She designed socks. Check these out. The little tent on the trees and moon. She needs me on a rock drinking whiskey, looking all grumpy and atmospheric. They're so cosy too. Put your feet in. I don't know. Something uncomfortable, I guess. Anyway, I'm muffling. Boots, highly, highly recommended. Especially with a nice set of socks. Uh, a lot better than my... Uh, Slipathon 3000s I was wearing before and Berghaus. You gotta have good footwear, I guess, if you were me. I've already saved my ass multiple times. I don't know though, I've never had uh, like textile boots before. So if anyone wears them and knows the best way of caring for them, because normally with the the Berghaus, though, leather is obviously nice and easy to care for. I would just clean them, dry them, and wax them. With these, obviously, I can't wax them. So, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Any ideas, just drop us a, a comment. I'm assuming you just brush them off. <sighs> what a boring twat I am, eh? See you in a bit. It's just all clagged in, and that's all boggy, marshy, horrible crap. Um, that I can't really plan on where I'm, I'm walking until I'm on it. 
Um, the main path's about half a mile over there somewhere. Nah, not half a mile, maybe that's an exaggeration. Quarter of a mile over that way, somewhere through all the boggy, misty crap. So, it's made my mind up, ribs in bits, and uh, I'm going to head that way, which is about four miles home, home, four miles back to the van, rather than seven miles that way, into more clag, more bog, more jumping around with a broken rib. It's just, yeah. I've got two more days in the lake, so I would like to stay as, as healthy and fit as I can. Take the big pack off, put the light pack on, and then maybe try and get up to, I don't know, Striding Edge or maybe Sharp Edge. It depends on the weather. So I'm going to head down for now. That's the plan so far. Bog, 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 bog. Huge, watery death trap. <sighs> That just seems to go on forever. And there's no huge watery death trap bridge. And that looks all right, but it's quite a leap. Really leaping right now with the weight on the back. Well, I'm halfway down. Start seeing things clear down there a little bit. Up there, it's still gruesome, really clagged in. I don't know whether you can hear me because it's, it's a little breezy down here. Um, yeah, it's clagged in up there, not very nice, really cold. And the guys just passed me in shorts and sunglasses. <laughs> uh, I didn't check, we probably had flip flops on as well. Um, but that's his problem, you know, maybe, maybe he'll learn. Um, anyway, I've been distracted, haven't I? I easily distracted. Glaramora. Oh, you got wobbly. Glaramora. Gla Glaramora, is that how you, you pronounce it? It's, uh, it's an awesome little mountain. Really, really recommended. Loads of camping spots. It's perfect for wild camping. And wherever I camped last night, it was probably one of the nicest places I've been. Um, I will be back. Because there's just so many options here. It really is probably the perfect wild camping spot compared to all the ones I've been to. Normally you have to look around quite a bit to choose and find a place, but uh, that one, right near the top, 360, 360 degree views, great views and, and loads of camping. I could have really stopped at the summit. I could have been right on the summit last night. There was, there was a space for my tent, but I'm a bit of a lazy bugger. I don't like to be up too early and you don't want to be around when people start arriving, like the early morning people, the worst kind of people, early morning people. Um, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm just jealous, really. Anyway, I'm going to head down. I'm getting hungry now, so get in the van and cook up myself some breakfast. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas. If you've not been here before, this is a really nice place to come, even in the mist. But we were really lucky last night with the with the weather. Really, really lucky. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, which may be tomorrow's outing. I might end up going up to uh, Striding Edge or Sharp Edge, somewhere like that, where I can get a little backpack on and do a bit of a scramble. I think my rib will hold up if, I, if I've got a little pack, a little backpack on. But this thing here is, it's no good. So anyway, until then, Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already, pre please press the like and subscribe button. I can never say that, can I? And uh, I'll see you at the next one.